Hey, I'm Shady Fox, known from the Arena Breakout community, but this time I'm going to talk about Ace Force and my experience, and also I'm going to share information which is going to instantly put you two tiers higher, because based on my own experience and based on what I changed in the settings, I can definitely see that I improved from one game to another, and I want to share that with you, because if you set things correctly, and if you start the game correctly, then you're going to have more success. So if you look at my history, it all started as I expected. The first games were pretty easy. I got the MVP multiple times and my kill death ratio wasn't that bad. But as I went up higher and I'm not plat at the moment or diamond, no, I'm, I'm gold. But I already started feeling that there are players out there um, who are just better than me and I need to change something. And that's something I'm going to get back to that when we talk about, you know, controls and movement and such. But you can clearly see that my, not the last game, but the game before, oops, this one, my stats were absolutely better than in the previous game. So I had 26 kills and five deaths in total. And this was the point where I changed something. So let me explain what's going to make you a good player and why I'm not there yet. So I'm also like trying to practice and become better. I'm, I'm not godlike and I don't have five years uh, of experience with PUBG and other games. Basically, the first game I've been playing, the first FPS game I've been playing on mobile was Arena Breakout. But in theory, I think I know what needs to be done and I want to share that knowledge with you. So first of all, and, and before we start, there is not one specific thing you need to set and then you're going to be godlike. No, it doesn't work like that. There are different layers. First, you need to set something and then build on top of that and then on, again on top of that. And then again, there's a fourth layer or I don't know how many layers there are, but pretty much it starts from the very basics like movement and um, and your U UI and uh, controls. And once you have set that and practiced that, then you can advance and go further. And this is what we're going to do today. So as the first step, what we're going to do is that we're going to focus on the movement. And as part of that, we're going to set our controls and basically the buttons, because everything needs to be set in a way where it makes sense for you. It's not that everybody uses the same layout. It's somewhat different for everybody. I'm going to share mine and then you can adjust yours based on Enemy like spotted. different aspects because there are some aspects. So first of all, you need one, one finger, so one thumb, uh, which you can use for the movement. Obviously, that's needed. And then you need the other thumb like to swipe. Usually, these are being done with the two thumbs. So basically, you need something where you can look around and walk. That's kind of the, the very basic. And before we even move any further, this is the point where you can start setting your sensitivity. And let me show you something. So in my case, um, I have I have gyroscope enabled, and um, in the advanced setting, there is something called uh, swipe acceleration. By default, this is set to off, but I have it set to speed, and the acceleration is 52. Other than that, everything else is, I think, pretty much default. But what this does is that if I just slightly move my thumb, so this this thumb, my right thumb, you can't see it, but this one, then it's just moving the camera slightly. But if I quickly or do a fast swipe, then I can pretty much turn around and I don't need the full screen to do that. It's important because sometimes you need like, like the slight movement for aiming or such. And there are cases where you want to turn around or you want to look behind a corner. Enemy so closet. that's that's kind of the very basic movement and um, and looking around with the camera and setting your sensitivity. That's the step one. The next one is going to be um, your abilities. So what we're going to need in Enemy the game, closet. the most important ones is going to be um, crouching. I'm going to get back to that while it is, but crouching is something you definitely need. I have it next to my right thumb. The reason for that is because in this game, if you press the crouch, then you can still do the aim. You can see that it's moving. The button itself is moving. And this is how I use it. 
you can actually set that to be um where is it walk mode crouch you can you can set the crouch mode to toggle or hold by default it's toggle just to show you that if i do that then you know i can tap Enemy and spotted. then i crouch and then i can tap again but for me it doesn't work i was first trying to put the crouch up to the um upper left side Enemy of spotted. the screen but I, I I have it uh, at this spot in Arena Breakout as well, so I already got used to it. And on the left top, it just didn't work for me. So I set it to, to hold. And the reason why I set it to hold Enemy is spotted. because sometimes you need to like look around and still aim while you are crouching. For me, it works. But on the other hand, I don't have the same Enemy for spotted. the creep walk. So for creep walk, I can either enable that or disable that. Let me tell you why. So if I creep walk and I want to switch to one of my abilities like Most trap or something, spot. you know, like I just did or back to knife, I'm still creep walking and I can even jump. If I have set that to hold, let enemy me show spot. that, walk, hold, there you go. Then it's very hard to hold it. I have it, I have it. Let me show you where I have it. I have it there behind my face cam. You can think about whether you want to set it to hold or, um, or or toggle, but my preference is toggle because some I, I kind of, you know, there are situations where you want to walk and then still do stuff. And I wouldn't want to like hold the creep walk for a long time. That's why. So then Enemy also spotted. we need to have the jump somewhere Not in a good spot. Spotted. But this is not that important. Like the jump can be anywhere uh, on the screen because you only need to jump if there's an obstacle or you need to jump um, on top of a box or something. And there is one more which is related to the jump, which is this ladder. Um, sometimes you need to climb a Enemy ladder spotted. and sometimes you need to press that button, but it doesn't need to be on a spot which you are using like regularly or, or frequently. Uh, so that's that. that. These are the basic movements, but I need to get back Enemy to spotted. the crouch because this is, this is much more important than what you think at this point. I mean, if you have played Counter-Strike or Valorant or other games similar like this, Enemy then you know that if you crouch, your aim is going to be more precise. I'm not sure if it's visible, but if I crouch, my crosshair, um, the, the lines Multiple are slightly spotted. like moving towards the center of the crosshair, kind of indicating that if I crouch, then my aim is even more precise. Multiple and enemies. many of the professional players crouch before they Multiple shoot, like, like this. They, they run and if they see somebody, then they crouch and this is how they start shooting, like this. Many enemies spotted. Um, and we're gonna get back to the aim practice as well. By the way, I'm not really used to playing uh, from this Multiple chair next spotted. to the table, uh, but I'm gonna do my very best to show you like m my aim in action. But back to the crouch. If you are not having it on Multiple hold, if you are spotted. having it on toggle, then you need to have it at a place on your screen uh, which you can control with your right uh, or left um, pointer Multiple figure because well, you need to like crouch and then aim and then shoot. For me, um, it just simply works better with this hold. And this Any is this is it. like the number, one of the, not number one message I want to deliver, but one of the most important things which I want to deliver in this video. The way you can be most precise and most efficient is that if there is an enemy, you need to stop. You need to stop running. And I'm going to demonstrate that, okay? Because if you Multiple run and if you shoot at the enemy while you are running, then your spray is going to be very inaccurate. It's very hard to... I mean, you can still Multiple like hit spotted. people with that, but it's very inaccurate. If you stand still, then your aim is going to be more more precise. And often, Multiple or not often, majority of the players, what they do is that um, when they start seeing an enemy or when they spot an enemy, they start having that Multiple panic attack. Enemy, oh, 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 there's spot. an enemy. And they start like shooting like this. And this is, this is not ideal. 
So you need to force your brain that even though, yes, there is danger, I shouldn't be moving. You need to stop. You need to stop for a second and then aim at the head. And then this is how this is how you should play the game. Like move, stop, shoot. Move, stop, shoot. And if every time there's an enemy, you should be stopping. And even better, if you start practicing to crouch from the very beginning. So most ideally, it's that you run. And then if you see an enemy, you stop, crouch, and then aim for, aim for the head. That's it. That's it. That's all you need to practice. This, this movement is what you need to practice. And this is going to make you literally a superstar in the game. Um, the better you are in that, the better you can crouch and aim and shoot at the same time, the more success you're going to have. Like this one. And the reason... Two reasons why I'm not that good at the moment is because I'm not sitting in the right position. Also, as I said, I'm not really uh, used to uh, playing from this chair, but I'm going to show you here that I can actually like aim at the heads if I want to. And what you see is something where I still need to focus because also gyroscope is pretty new to me. So I haven't been playing with gyroscope for a long time. And the reason why I want to show you that is because there's one more thing I want to share. And 29 is not the best. My best with this gun was 20, um, 24 until now. This is the point where I feel that in theory, I precisely know what needs to be done. But I'm still not 100% used to the gyroscope. Um, this whole crouch and shoot thing is new for me. I have not done it since um, Counter Strike, but that's PC, so it's different. Um, and and in general, I don't have years of experience playing FPS games on mobile. But I think I'm getting there. So in a couple of months, I think um, you know, even if I'm not gonna be in the competitive scene, but I'm gonna try to be. I'm gonna try to have. Uh, at least a high rank so um why did i sh show you this training uh, or this um shooting exercise here try to make a habit of not using the scope um in the game at least not for now and at least not with the assault rifles because i think it just doesn't make sense it's an extra button um you need to you need to tap and it doesn't really zoom in too much it's a 1x scope it sometimes it somewhat zooms in, but it doesn't make your aim like you know 100% better, and it takes time to zoom in. Instead, try to practice not to use the zoom and, and instead use the crouch because the crouch is definitely going to make your aim um, more precise. And um, if there is anybody watching who is like a professional Valorant player or even better if you have any FPS um, gaming experience and if you feel that I'm wrong in what I'm saying then please use the comment section and let me know but based on what I saw from the best players in Ace Force 2 this is what they do they run and f as soon as they see somebody they crouch and then do, do the headshot and that's it this is what we need to practice and now we get to the point um, where there are still a couple of things to be discussed now that you can walk, crouch um, and, um, and aim. There are still a bunch of things. I would recommend setting the minimap into a position where it's visible for you. So by default, it's on the left, far left, upper part of the screen. And I think it's not ideal. Because in the game, Multiple we don't have like sound indicators, like the traditional sound indicators where you see the north, east, and the numbers. Instead, we have sound indicators on the map. Multiple As you can see, those white, I don't know, footsteps or noise signs are the ones indicating where um, the, enemy the enemies are going to come from. And therefore, it's important that we keep seeing that. Y you cannot put it into a spot where it's hidden uh, by one of your fingers. Enemy so spotted. I would Multiple recommend you putting it um, well, to, to, to the spot I have, have it set because for me it makes sense and I can clearly see um, where, the, where the noises are Enemy coming from. Spotted. And it helped me a lot. I saw a guy like 
he was like I don't know, walking like this, and there was a noise coming from the left, but he didn't see it on the minimap, and he, uh, instead of looking to the left, he was looking to the right. So minimap is very, very, very important. And talking about the minimap and the noises, um, don't don't run around on the map. Like, <laughs> how do you express that? Run around or run on the map at the beginning of the game, or if you want to rush. Know, to the bomb site or something but then if you have if you want to move from one location to the other and you expect enemies to be around then don't run and you know don't necessarily use your abilities you re to reveal yourself instead of walk okay this is this is something again where you need to force your brain Multiple to be rewired because if you quickly want to get from bomb site a to b then you should be running until you get to the middle of the map and then Multiple from that point spotted. onwards you should be walking because by walking you don't reveal yourself and it's easier to like kill targets if you are surprising them the other way around what's going to happen is that you're going to run to the uh, bomb station or the the bomb site you run they're going to see you and you're going to get a headshot from the side because everybody everybody is going to walk um or, or crouch in the game on on higher levels you're not going to see people just running to the bomb site it just doesn't make sense so start getting familiar with or start you know forcing yourself to walk otherwise uh you're going to get stuck at i don't know what level gold or or whatever so you need to you need to practice that and there's one more thing we need to talk about which is obviously the abilities what you want to do is to check out every single hero or ace in the game they're called aces a character and understand what the abilities do um how to use them this is i mean i could be doing a video yeah let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video like showcasing all of the abilities and basically explaining there is actually a pretty good explanation of abilities in the game but if you want to hear them from me and eventually even um you know me sharing some thoughts whether that ability makes sense or or how it should be used then then let me know in the comment section uh but you need to learn like certain things about abilities to give you a, an example if i hop over to test side um her ability one of her abilities is the mobility and basically you can dash and i realized in in a game during the game not on the training ground during a game that after i hit that ability for one or two seconds you cannot shoot so you you need to keep that in mind and dash in a way where you basically are aware of that but i can show it to you so if i if i dash then instantly i cannot shoot and this killed me one or two times already and these are the like minor things that you know it might be written down somewhere but this is something you need to explore yourself you need to try it yourself also you need to figure out how the flashes work like do they instantly explode or does it take some time you know um how much time you have until you need to get into cover and stuff like that so if you have time then go through the aces one by one or characters one by one to figure out what they do and how they do it but before starting to um, use your abilities I mean, obviously you should use them, but I think first you need to master the movement itself, how to move with your character. That's number one. Second, you need to master like the shooting, like shooting and aiming and tracking type of thing. And then as the third goal or third objective, you should be mastering the, um, the, the abilities. And I know it sounds pretty easy, but I guess for those who are new to the uh, game or don't and don't have like a huge experience with FPS games, this can this can take up to months. Okay, so don't don't think that you're gonna hop into the training ground and then um, you know after a thirty minute session you're gonna walk out and then you're gonna destroy all of the lobbies. Uh, that's not gonna work. Give yourself time and keep practicing because I think. Well, if you just play the game, you're not gonna practice. You're gonna you're gonna slightly get better at the game, but if you do something wrong from the very beginning and nobody tells you and nobody teaches you, then you're gonna keep repeating the same issues over and over again. Okay, so 
try to be and try to try to set the foundation and the foundation in the games are always like the settings and sensitivity and basically understanding oh, what needs buttons. to be done and in this case Again, let me remind you, you move, and then when it comes to shooting, you shouldn't be spraying. You should be instead tapping or like do a, do a quick burst um, because you're going to have more success like this. I mean, I can shoot them. I can still shoot them, but by this time, I would have died like already five times if the enemy is a player who, who, who sees me, crouches, and then instantly does a headshot. And I know it's not easy. As I, as I said, I'm still also practicing. For me, it's not easy. I, I, I'm, I'm struggling, by the way, on what to do um, to record when I'm sitting here. I definitely need a new chair and something where I can you know, position my arm in a way where it feels like uh, sitting on a couch because that's, that's the only thing that is missing for me to do live streams because I feel that if I'm sitting here, my performance is just, I don't know, 50% worse compared to sitting on the couch. Keep in mind that if you play it and then, you know, get yourself a chair or something which, which, you know, allows you to sit in a position which helps you being good at the game. Um, but I think that's, that's, that's pretty straightforward. And what else? Um, of course, uh, learn the weapons. Like, you know, get familiar with the weapons. There aren't too many weapons. Enemy there are <laughs> like a couple of pistols, full assault, full, four assault rifles. One of them is the four, which is an interesting choice, by the way, because you can one tap people. Uh, you need to be good at aiming, but this is actually a good choice. And um, just try them, check out what uh, works for you. And uh, and I think if you're done with that, then then you are pretty much off to go. And if you do what I just told you, then instantly, instead of having 10 kills, you're going to have 20 kills. And the earlier you start to adopt, then the more advantage you're going to have over other players. Because the other players, they're going to keep spraying. They're going to keep running while they are shooting. Um, they're going to do these mistakes. So put yourself ahead of them by following Enemy these fast. recommendations. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to try to be a good player in Ace Force 2. And uh, please, guys, let me know if you want to see more Ace Force 2 Enemy videos. Um, by default, I'm doing tips, tutorials, map guides and such. If you want to see Multiple similar content, uh, you know, what I, to what I do in Arena Breakout, then let me know. Because for me, this game is really exciting. And I always wanted to have, like at least one more game. This would obviously impact the number of videos I publish for Arena Breakout because I don't have infinite time. But um, if that's welcome and if you're interested to see Ace Force 2, then I'm absolutely up to um, creating and publishing content for this game. It's the same studios. We have um, some connections already or I and other creators have connections to those folks already. So it absolutely makes sense from many aspects to create content for this game. And last but not least, I'm enjoying this game and I hope that you are enjoying it as well. And I hope I could help you getting better or, or or starting better in this game. Let me know the feedback. So if you applied some of the things I have shared, um, let me know um, in the comment enemy section spotted, whether it spotted. improved your gameplay or it was absolute bullshit. I don't mind if you disagree with the things I've been sharing in this video, but in that case, please um, like explain why you don't agree or what would you do differently. I have never stated that I am one of the best players in the world. Enemy I will spotted. never be, <laughs> especially Enemy not spotted. because I'm aging. But, um, you know, advice, recommendation, feedback and your opinion is always welcome in the comment section. Thank you for your attention. As always, shoot, loot, subscribe and see you in the next one. Shady out. Bye.